In this episode of Totality Tuesday, we'll be talking about what to expect during a total solar eclipse. A lot of times people talk about what to see, but I like to think about it more as what we're going to experience during the eclipse. Here what we're seeing is the moon starting to cover the disk of the sun. As the moon first covers the sun, we call that first contact, and for us it'll be at about 2.05 in the afternoon. As more and more of the sun gets covered, we won't notice too much unless we're wearing eclipse glasses, and in those last several minutes before totality, we'll notice it get a little bit darker, we'll notice the temperature decrease, and then as we reach totality, the world will change. When totality starts, that's when we start to see the corona of the sun, the outer atmosphere that we don't normally see because of the brightness of the sun. And during this time, the sky will be dark, shades of blue and indigo, we'll be able to see bright stars, the temperature will get 10 or more degrees cooler, but it will only last about 3 minutes and 43 seconds for us here in Buffalo. As totality ends, we call that third contact. We're back to a partial phase of the eclipse. And as we watch the eclipse through eclipse glasses, we're able to see more and more of the sun showing. Temperatures will increase until about 432 when the moon will no longer cover the sun. We call that fourth contact and the eclipse will be over. So for us here in Buffalo, the entire eclipse is going to last about two and a half hours, starting at about 2.05 in the afternoon and going to 4.32. The really exciting part is during totality, which will be just under four minutes when the sun is totally blocked by the moon. For us here in Buffalo, that'll be 3.18 to 3.22. As the sun disappears behind the disk of the moon, a lot of people react by shouting and clapping because it's something they've never seen before. 